I'm gonna give birth and you're gonna be right there with me. <laughs> you're gonna help me push, push, push. Ready? <laughs> this is gonna be my uh, hook in the very, very beginning. We just got to the hospital a little bit ago and this is not the birth I was expecting but this is the birth and I'm very excited about meeting this little baby. I'm getting induced today. Uh, we were actually an hour late. It was terrible of us but they were super nice. Everybody was very understanding. So yeah, I'm just uh, being monitored right now to see if the baby is doing okay. I'm gonna get a cervical check in a little bit to see if I dilate it at all in the last 12 hours. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Uh, so I'm thinking they're gonna start a medication that softens the cervix and then when it's more favorable, <laughs> they're gonna start Pitocin. Uh, a little bit nervous about that. I don't know what the side effects are gonna be, but so far I'm feeling good. Are you feeling good, husband? He's feeling good. <laughs> we woke up at 5 a.m. pretty early, but... <laughs> Look at this fancy, fancy bed. I don't think I've been... I, yeah, I've actually never been to... Uh, in the hospital bed in America before. This is cool. <laughs> oh. oh, this is better than most. This can work, okay. <laughs> It's been a while since my last update, I guess, uh, but nothing really happened during that time. I got two doses of miso. I'll insert somewhere. I keep forgetting the name of the medicine, but the one that dilates my cervix. There wasn't much change. I think I got to once in a year. Um, but it's 9.52 p.m. already and they just recently were able to place a fully balloon and in hopes that it mechanically will dilate my cervix even more and uh, I was given the option to start pitocin right away at the same time with my uh, fully balloon or I could we could we decided to wait like an hour or two <laughs> so yeah I haven't had much pain I just um, kind of tired from just being in the same place in the same room just waiting but it's been pretty painless and pretty nice and the food was amazing and the staff is so kind and sweet and just a very great experience and yeah right now we're just gonna see what the fully balloon does and start the pitocin <laughs> The real fun is going to begin really soon. Um, we'll see how my body is going to react to it. And hopefully maybe we'll have a baby really soon. Hey guys, I just wanted to update you real fast. It's 2.32 a.m. And we started Pitocin about 30 minutes ago. And my full balloon is still in. And um, I had a blood show, so I keep going to the bathroom to change the pad. The nurse just tried to locate the baby. <laughs> she wasn't co-creating. So we had to delay from 1 a.m. to 2. Uh, we were able to take a nap 
and that gave me some strength so I'm very happy about that and yeah I'm feeling contractions a little bit but not too bad right now so uh, the pitocin is two milliliters milli, milli units I think and they can go up I think up until 20 <laughs> or I think she said sometimes they even go until 40 but they started me with a lower dosage and just gonna see how that goes I told you he can sleep uh, for a little longer because nothing is happening yet so I'm just gonna try to take a rest as well yeah kind of nervous <laughs> to actually meet the baby and go through this whole thing but yeah this is what we wanted so I'm very excited at the same time <laughs> yeah see you guys later Push it, push it. Ah, push this because I'll have the wall more sure. Okay, duck. <laughs> okay, I can do an update. <laughs> <laughs> I want Pitocin. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I'm only at eight. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> uh, so we started last night at two, and then we increased it very slowly till four, till six, and just about an hour ago till eight milli units or something like that. You can. You're supposed to go till twenty. Um, so I don't know how to do it. So I decided to get an epidural after 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 all they have a lot of birth today and a lot of c-section so they they said if i really wanted a epidural to let them know beforehand so they can kind of squeeze me in between the between the c-sections which is uh yeah crazy how many such a busy day for them today and i'm here too <laughs> i'm here since yesterday i think i can't remember anymore contraction is coming so I'm very happy about my choice I'll talk to you guys soon <laughs> when I have an epidural <laughs> Three forty six PM the torture has began. Begun. Begin begun. I um I have five contractions in ten minutes. So there's about two minutes in between. And that's what you <laughs> That's what you're supposed to have with Pitocin. So I'm just waiting for my epidural. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I just got an epidural and it's incredible. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> it's um, 4.23 and it just, yeah, I have no words. I don't know what I was thinking doing it without epidural <laughs> uh, and Pitocin. I could only get to eight milliunits 
of Pitocin. And it was getting so intense. No joke. But now I feel really, really nice. So hopefully baby's coming soon. push right here and push my fingers out. Push right here. More. Curl around your baby. Good. There you go. Let that go. Another big breath in. Fill your lungs and bear down. Push my fingers out. Good. Good. Keep going like that. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Don't hold back. Good job. And one more. Let's go. Feel it? Do one more. Okay. Yeah. I was like, that's not I know, yeah. Wait for everyone to be comfortable. <laughs> wow. How's the temperature? In the, how's the temperature in the room? Um. Uh, I don't know. Are you okay? I'm just hot and cold at the same time. I know, you, you're going <laughs> back and forth a little bit, I can tell. Mm. You're feeling the pressure still? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You want to try to bring your legs up or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're pushing pretty well. The cervix is not totally moving out of the way in the front. cervix in the front, Rosanna, so it's not really moving out of the way. Uh, so I think like you're feeling a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. The baby's head is obviously coming down. Do, would you be okay just kind of breathing through the contractions here and just sort of letting the head come down more passively? Mm -hmm. Would you be okay to do that for like 20 minutes more or something like that? Because mm -hmm. I think just with that, the head, the cervix is going to move out of its way on its mm -hmm. own. But sometimes when we put too much pressure on it, it um, can get swollen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think it might be good to just wait a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But leave her in this position. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. gravity is okay. good. Okay. Perfect. And then, and then you can kind of, you know, mm -hmm. be Which in this more active position where you can kind of wake up a little bit and so we get all of this. Mm -hmm. There you go, sweetie. Okay. Okay. Perfect. If you want to scoot back, there you go. That's good. Is that okay? You're doing great. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Does this feel good to you to be in this position rather than like yeah, pulling your sure. legs back? Okay. I just want to cover you up. Mm -hmm. And then I would let go of this while we're sitting here, just mm -hmm. really try to relax. Yeah. Okay. I was here. Oh. Do you want to have some ice chips, something cold, or 
Anything that you found that you want more of, like a, mm -mm. no, okay. Oof. Yeah, I'm feeling the pressure. Okay, uh, it's not going to be long. Let's just g give it a little bit of a break. Let the, let the head come down. Good, Rosanna. Good, just really open up to that, okay? Baby's coming. It's, it's an intense feeling, but you're doing great. I guess without the epidural, it would be a lot worse, huh? Yeah, a lot more intense, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the epidural does not take away the sensation of pressure. Uh -huh. And when the baby comes out, it's a lot of pressure. Okay. Good job. She looks good, too. She had me very worried, this little baby. She, she had me worried. <laughs> When you push, we see this much of your baby's head. Good. Look at you go. Nice Three, work, Rosanna. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're making progress each time. We can do this. Push hard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. This one gets down. There's nothing to save your energy for. Okay, it's time to push your baby out. Doing so great. Keep going. A little bit more. A little bit more. Huh? Big breath and right back at it. Turn her around the corner here. You gotta get her under that bone. Good job. You're so close. Hey, so take her in and let her. Um, she's crying, so with pushes. So I don't know if you want to give Nick you like a heads up that it's okay. not going to be too much longer. And so good. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'd like to be ready for one. <laughs> one more? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Good, good, good. A little bit more. A little bit more. Wow, you're so strong. <laughs> right back at him. Let's go. Good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, beautiful. ten. <laughs> Great pose. Okay, last one. Go all out and then you'll take your breath. Okay. Excellent work. It's good stretching that's happening right now.
this much of her head right here is hanging out like a big huge baseball. Can <laughs> I push her out? Legs all the way up and back. Add a girl. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Here she comes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blow it out. Touch your breath. You're almost to your forehead. Area. That hurts. Uh, You're burning. That's it. That's the fire. Push it away. Go ahead. Push. Go ahead and push. One, two, three, four. Okay, relax your breathing. Relax. Oh, she's I'll hit that first one. Just tell me. Yeah, it's good. Oh. 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 Oh.